Hello everyone, welcome back to Structure Expert. Today we continue to uh, design a square long uh, square with long column. Okay, square long column or unpre long column with the BF eighty one ten, the British standard code for the concrete. We we have a rectangular section. 40 multiply with 60 cm and uh, we apply the C force we apply the uh, ultimate moment ultimate moment 600 kN mat and ultimate load the vertical load is uh, 1200 kN the ultimate C force circuit bending, circuit load, clear high or column the high from one floor to one floor is four meter, and we design it in unbreak column or square column in both directions. And for the parameter or the V8, we want to design for the shear, and for the survey bending, we want to design uh, for the correct section to to verify correct. And survey load is the same the survey and bending moment we uh, apply the uh, default for the uh, correct analysis only now we focus about the ultimate load to design for the rebar the first one you have to determine the minimum eccentricity the minimum eccentricity we can do uh, this, this rule assume is the five percent take all the width of the column. I, this column we have width and length. Width of column is four hundred multiplied with length is six hundred. So uh, you can calculate the minimum eccentricity. E is equal to five percent multiplied with uh, four hundred millimeter. Or the value you, you you can you cannot include it uh, when it's over than uh, 20 mm the limit is 20 mm so E is equal to 20 mm and you convert it to math 20 uh, div uh, divide 1 section multiply with ASO4 ASO4 is 1200 kN sorry this one is uh, kilonewton and the uh, the value is the minimum moment minimum moment produced by minimum eccentricity or column is 24 in both directions now check the slender length of column uh, effective length of column LEH is equal to 1.2 multiply with 4. LEY is equal to 1.2 multiply with 4 is equal to 4.4 meter. And uh, LEH over H and LEH over B is equal to 8 and 12 respectively. Uh, the column is slender about mineral ashes and the column is uh, short about. Uh, Assist. and how to calculate the uh, the uh, factor factor beta the LE effective length is called beta multiplied by S rho beta uh, depend on the earn condition earn condition uh, 1 the earn condition 1 column connect with the condition earn condition 1 and also, beam, the beam high, greater than A3, okay, the column, uh, column width, A3, is, uh, we compare in this plan, column high, D2, and uh, column width, A3, is D2, greater than or is equal to uh, A2, or A3, you can classify it 1, okay. Now in the case, uh, we consider it the 
earn condition 1 earn condition for the unfrag column 1 and earn constant at the bottom 1 the value of the beta is equal to 1.2 now we uh, you put 1.2 1.2 multiply with 4 concrete cover and material property the concrete strength we use the cubic strength in the uh, BA code not you uh, the cylinder strength do the concrete cubic strength SCU is equal to 40 megapascal and the clock exposure silver and fire stand we design your we design it for two hour maximum size aggregate is equal to uh, 20 mm minimum uh, nominal cover 40 diameter of main bar we assume it uh, 25 when uh, we calculate and design it we will uh, got the actual value but in the case we just uh, assume it in the first step and the gear strength of main, main bar is 400 megapascal and diameter link is uh, 8 mm and the gear strength of link riba is it's equal 235 megapascal and uh, we had to calculate about the uh, effective dip d d is equal to uh, h high uh, length of uh, section minor cover minor uh, diameter link minor uh, 0 0.5 diameter of main bar so it's equal to 539.5 millimeter and this one the uh, distance from the top fiber to the center of the riba it's equal to 60.5 millimeter Uh, design for the slenderness is uh, we compare the H over B is equal to 1.5 it less than 3 the value of L E E8 over H is equal to 8 uh, lower than 20 so uh, at this normal moment we focus about 1 RC for the min uh, min RC we can be ignored we calculate the alpha h alpha h is the mini, uh, magnification factor for the uh, eight direction and now you can check for the h over b uh, lower than 3 we can use uh, the formula m y m y i the initial moment of uh, uh, fourth moment, first uh, first order moment, multiply with the um add um add uh, is the um additional moment. This normal moment is the additional moment due to the slenderness. Now let's come back. And this uh, alpha it is equal to one over two session multiply with uh, uh it over b power 2 multiply with the h and k k you can uh, calculate it actually according to formula but in the case we can uh, con uh, we assume it is equal to 1 okay 1 so you got the value is uh, 33.2 now i want to explain you 30, 33.2 when you design for the long column we be concerned about the smaller tar this one is the smaller tar okay and if you will calculate it 
is equal to 34.2 mm for the sphere column sphere column and now we got the um additional is equal to n multiplied with alpha h is equal to uh, 51.48 kilonewton mat now we calculate the uh, total moment total moment um, it is equal to the first order moment first order moment plus the um, um, mint the minimum centricity is uh, 24 multiply with the um, additional additional uh, for the standard net is equal to 51.4 uh, point uh, f uh, 84 so the total moment apply on the column is equal to 675.84 kilonewton met Uh, design or the slender column the design we can uh, do as the as a beam the md is equal to m the total moment plus n the actual four eight divide two minus d1 d1 is uh, divide you d1 is uh, 60.5 millimeter So we got the uh, um, MD, the uh, moment resistant, moment resistant of uh, section is equal to 963.24 kilonewton mat. Now we calculate the K. The K is uh, equal to MD divide SCU multiply with B D square 2. Now we got the result is equal to 0 0.21 is a uh, greater than zero one hundred uh, fifty six so a uh, compression reinforcement is required uh, we calculate the level arm set is equal to zero point seven hundred seventy five d and uh, for more uh, accurate result you can use the formula to calculate for the set and we simplify it set is equal to uh, zero point seven seven five d. You can uh, check the formula and zero point one hundred fifty six. Respond with the zero point seven seven five. So we use uh, this set for simplify uh, in uh, our design for more accurate result. You can use the formula to calculate for the value of set. And now we calculate the RS frame. RS frame is equal to 15 se uh, square centimeter. And as the you uh, got the result of A S frame, you can calculate to AS. AS is equal to the uh, multiply with AS frame minus N divide. 0.25 s5 so we got the uh, rs is equal to 3053.30 square millimeter uh, when you calculate uh, the result of as we use it the same for the as frame and as is equal to 30 53.30 30 we use uh, 4 db 30 on each face uh, when you, you design you calculate uh, the value of the uh, rebar requirement you need only one for the tension and for the compression you need a smaller reinforcement but actually we use it the same the matter of rebar and amount of rebar and we also include one debug at the center and uh, add one link. We can check uh, this link 
how to add it according to the code and indicate we design it thank you for your watching thank you and uh, for the minimum C, uh, for the cd bar uh, you can calculate it but uh, in the case uh, you can do for the minimum cd bar reinforcement in the cross section it is not for this section thank you for your watching thank you thank you and now we have to verify the uh, value with the excel Okay, open it cell. Uh, you can uh, purchase the Excel from the the Congress Center. Now let input the value. The material SU E forty. We do it the same with the column we design in the slide. Okay, 40 multiplied with CT. 40 CT and the concrete strength is 40. G strength of the bar is 400 megapascal, is correct. Concrete cover is correct. And the uh, earth row, uh, high of column from floor to floor is 400, uh, 4000 millimeter, is correct. And top condition 1 1, is correct. And column is non -fret. Uh, e and fresh is correct and beta is 1.2 you can check with the slide 1.2 is correct 1.2 1.2 so le8 is equal to 4.8 okay 4.8 and 12 is correct okay 8 and 12 is correct for the uh, slenderness column is slender and check the column is slender about the mineral C and we input the actual for actual for is 1200 1, now let input it 1200 and um, with it is 2 uh, is 600 ok 600 so in the case we apply it uh, for the the ball curvature, the ball curvature, we do the same top and the bottom moment, and for the moment um e by zero zero. Now let's check it. Be correct. Okay. Then you can check the k. U k is equal to one, and um at and add in is there is equal to 23 now let's check okay and if uh, we we calculate is equal to 24 and in is there is 23 it uh, similarly and um, it the total moment is 623 now let's check with the total moment we calculate here it quad is quad to six hundred seventy five and it's it's there it sorry sorry uh um it is quad to uh first order moment multiply with the um eight so it's quad to six hundred twenty three and for the m frame it the uh, total moment total moment is quad to six hundred seventy point one kiloton met so let's check this one when you sum each other is equal to 624 yeah it, it correct it uh, similar and the uh, total moment 670.1 and we calculate it 675 uh, it uh, similar in it says 670.1 in a uh, slide is 
Now let's check for the uh, design chart. Okay, for the section 600, 400, and column grade is uh, 40. Concrete cover. We check here the design capacity. This uh, this graph for the ATB 25 diameter 25, and the graph is ATB diameter uh, 40. So your column uh, it pass uh, it pass it starts, but uh, it uh, nearly in the tension zone. So uh, we do not uh, we don't want to design the column in a tension zone. We want uh, our column in the zone, in compression or in the zone. But now our column is uh, nearly at the tension zone. For the um, um Y prime and for the um H prime, you can check. Now uh, the result is uh, acceptable. We compare with the set. It says that thank you for your watching. Thank you.